All right, on to my Geminis. Seven of Wands. So it looks like in order to really pursue ourselves in a deeper way, we're going to have to connect with our passion in a really kind of assertive um, format, okay? So sevens are often about like looking back over what we have gone through and what we've accumulated thus far. And there's something in the sevens, seven of wands that's really interesting to me. It's like this person has like, you know, they're very connected to this wand and they're at this point where they're like defending off all these other wands that are all like, you know, you know, all aligned and looking like it's against him. But the interesting thing to notice is that he's kind of the larger than life figure in this card. He's on higher ground. He has the, the, the vantage point. He has the positioning to defend himself, which is kind of illustrating that my Geminis, you guys have been aimed at a certain direction. You've been, you know, pursuing maybe a passion or an interest or a love, um, a, a love opportunity, um, really aligned with your heart and with your soul. And maybe right now you're coming through something where a lot of conflicting energies are coming up. There's doubts, things that remind you of the past, um, other people's, uh, kind of, uh, opinions about it, or just their, you know, opposing energies as to why you should feel safe and secure in what you've been building. But because you have this higher ground, you need to be aware of the fact that like what you've been pursuing has given you the momentum, has given you the proper footing, the positioning to be in a position of strength here and to defend yourself against the doubts, against opposing energies, against things moving in an opposite direction. For you to recognize that you need to be clear about holding on to what you're fighting for here, holding on to the direction you're moving now is the way that you're actually going to truly pursue yourself. You know, sometimes it's not just about like, oh, I'm open to what's here for me. Sometimes it's about saying, no, I know what's for me. I'm interfacing with it. I've got it in my hands right now. And there's nothing that's going to throw me off my course. There is no amount of doubt or fear or external conflicting energy that's going to undermine what I've worked towards here. This is a new stage that you're at, Gemini. You are, you are really embracing... Um, the claiming of your energy and your ability to direct yourself and move based on conscious will. And you're not in a position to, to lose, you know, your ground right now. So be encouraged. Continue to hold steadfast to what you believe uh, is for you at this moment. Be stubborn about it. Whether it's a love, whether it's a job, whether it's a passionate pursuit, whether it's a, a heart project or, you know, something just completely of new um, action in your life. Hold on to it. What this is right now is going to mystically expand you. It's going to expand your spiritual awareness and and through through energetically asserting your passion, you know, you are proving to the universe, you are moving in honor of, I know what my heart needs at this moment. Okay. 